Okay, what we have here is a player character. We've got a little start and end and a little maze or game to move through. No other power-ups. We've got this big green plane or can be any other object at the back that whenever we collide it with it, we're just going to reload the level. So we can sort of see here, each time that I make a contact with that, my scene is being reloaded. So that's what we're going to work through and try and achieve. Okay, so we've got our basic level and our player that can move around. So we're just going to quickly test that. Okay, our player moves, but at the moment we don't have an area to reset when we collide with. So I'm just going to turn off that maximize on play. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go and create a plane. I'm just going to put that at the origin and I'm just going to stretch that out to maybe about 20 by 20. Okay, that's probably too big. So let's maybe try 15 by 15. I'm just going to drag it down across so it's underneath our game and I'm going to go to a material and I'm just going to drag a green material on it just so I can easily see. Now let's have a look at what happens. So I'm going to hit my play button, game's running and we hit it and collide but nothing else is happening. So what we want to do is go onto our collider as it's a mesh like just a 2D object we're going to convex and turn it into a trigger and now this will mean the physics aren't really being applied to it so we can fall through it not great but what we want to do is with trigger when our player collides with it we want it to basically go and reset so we're going to go first set up our player we're going to open up our player prefab or player object and make sure the tag for the player has been set on it and we'll just make sure it's on the player as well that's all good now we need to make a script. So the script is relatively short and we'll just call it reload scene. And we'll open that up in our editor. And we need to use the scene management package. So using unity engine dot scene management. And we don't need our start and update functions because the only thing this is going to do is run this trigger so we're going to put void on trigger enter we're going to take a collider so that'll be that mesh collider of the player object if the collider compare tag so if it has the tag of player we want to tell the scene manager to load a new scene and we're going to get the active scene and then its name. Now, what we need to do is this is where we can quite often get a little mistake is we want to put the scene on the plane. So when this plane detects the player having collided with it, we're going to reload the scene. If we had that script attached to the player, we would need to detect if this scene or this plane had been hit. So let's go and test this. So we can fall off and we've fallen all the way through. So let's see why that's. And we can quite quickly see there's no actual reload scene attached to that plane. So let's do that. So now that scene is attached. Well, that script is attached. So now every time we hit that green object, the game will level resets. So that's how we can use that to do a, to reload a scene.